Good morning, YouTube. It's your girl here, Tammy C. Walker, the owner of this channel, Dreams Are Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love. How are you out there in this beautiful world of ours? I am trying to read <laughs> the daily word. If I can get back to it, I just had it. And here it is for today, Saturday, September 10th, life. I am so grateful for my life. The gift of life is precious and I treasure it. But sometimes it's easy to get so bogged down with the day-to-day -day living that I forget to rejoice in life. No matter my struggles, I refuse to let them overshadow the good in life in my life or blind me to the magnificence of life around me the beauty and variety of the natural world fills my senses and makes my heart sing today i boldly take my place in the world as a unique expression of life fully human and fully divine i embrace living with energy enthusiasm and joy my positive outlook and attitude make all the difference my highest, most vibrant life is mine to create with my thoughts and through my faith. I begin each day grateful for the gift of life. And the verse for today is Proverbs 4 and 23. Keep your heart with all vigilance for from it flow the springs of life. I love that. Alrighty now. So today I want to talk about enjoying your life and finding balance. It can be hard. We are in this busy time. I always talk about work because I feel that some of these jobs just burn people out that, um, you know, we have to put ourselves first. A job is a job. We need it to pay our bills, eat, all those other good things. But when our health begins to fail, you know, nothing beats your health. I know people talk about money, wealth, this, that. You can have millions. We always go back to Steve Jobs or Jobs. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I always feel like I'm saying it the wrong way. But, you know, the owner, the creator of um, Apple, he had millions. And he passed away from cancer. And he could not stop death. So, it's why it's good to make money. I hope those that are focusing on this money, 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 get you, go to the doctor. Get your health in check take your vitamins, do some form of exercise, drink your water, eat better because that is what's going to keep you as you get to those latter years of 70, 60, 70, 80. What you do in your 30s, 40s, and 50s is going to matter for your senior years. So as this verse is saying or this uh, reading, no matter my struggles, for we all have them, I refuse to let them overshadow the good in my life or blind me to the magnificence of life around me. So no matter what your struggles are, health issues, family issues, relationship issues, your job, lack of a job, finances, you're not going to let it blind you to still all the good that exists because good truly does exist for many of us. Beauty is in nature. I always talk about the beautiful grass or a beautiful flower. I love to buy myself flowers each week because it reminds me of nature and the beauty of life. My positive outlook and attitude make all the difference. I know for me, I can get frazzled. I can get stressed out. It's a lot of pressure on me, I feel like, um, you know, to perform well at work or to make sure I tie up my loose ends from my second job or pay this bill or did I make this health appointment for myself it's a lot when you my single women and men out here when you're doing it by yourself it just feels like a lot that's how I feel and the same for married uh, couples or someone that has a partner it's hard with that too because you have to balance out you know having that partner keeping them happy keeping yourself happy it's a lot all the way around. It's a stressful time, but we can still create time for a balance, create time for ourselves. Take that vacation day, take a vacation 
And for for to me, the number one thing for me is to watch the negativity. Stop putting yourself in toxic situations. For me, I just like my peace. That's like high on my list. And I will I will stomp on 13,000 bulls to get to a peace of mind. Once you have lived in turmoil or if you had like a traumatic experience like me living in a house where I didn't feel happy, I hated to wake up, I hated to go to sleep. I never want to experience that again. Um, being a survivor of a major illness, I'm very protective of my peace, probably paranoid about it. I am, I, I will admit, but it's okay because this is how I feel and how I move. I'm learning as I get older, Ooh, almost a year older, guys, September 13th. Woo -woo. Um, I've just noticed that everyone is an individual and their life experiences shape them. And I always call myself the weirdo. I feel a little strange, but I embrace it. It's a good thing because my life experiences made me think and move the way that I move. Your, your life experiences make you be who you are. Sometimes we look at someone and say, they're kind of weird, or why do they act that way? But it's what they've been through in their life that makes them be the way they are. Find that balance in your life as we enter this um, fall season, which is going to quickly you know, transition over to the holidays. And keep yourself happy. Don't overwork. It's hard to, it's hard to do. <laughs> And if you do have to work hard, throw in some fun and peace and balance and relaxation for yourself. Tammy Sharice Walker, hit that like button for me, everybody. I'm almost at that 500. Thank you all so much for your kindness, your comments, your likes, everything, and sharing. It means so much. Thank you, hustlers. Take care, you all. Have yourself a most beautiful weekend. Bye-bye.